Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good evening. Good evening to you and welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to today's meeting. It is my prayer that God will use this meeting to be a blessing to every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you and thank you all for tuning in. You are blessed and you are highly favored by God. May God bless every one of you as you come on. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God is a good God. God is a good God. God is a good God. May you be blessed tonight as you tune in. In Jesus' name. Good evening, Naomi. Good evening, Naomi. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you for coming on. You are blessed of God. In Jesus' mighty name. And you are favored by God in the name of Jesus. May the goodness of God be your portion as you come on in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sister Jane. Hallelujah. Good evening, Sister Jane. You are blessed of God. You are blessed of God. And you are favored by God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Every one of you, as you tune in, may God bless you. May God increase everyone in Jesus' name. Like I've said before, I am always blessed to be ministering to you. I am blessed ministering to you. And I pray that God will actually increase every one of you and move you from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be moved from glory to glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. As usual, hallelujah. Lift up your voice and let's thank God. God is a good God. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his protection. Thank him for his love. Thank him for all the good things that he mighty God do for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Thanking you, thanking you, thanking you, thanking you. And Lord, we bless your name. We acknowledge your goodness. We acknowledge that you are a good God. May your name be glorified. May your name be praised in the name of Jesus Christ. We come, Father God, with thanksgiving. We come with thanksgiving. We come with thanksgiving. We thank you. We thank you. As your word says, we should enter your gate with thanksgiving. Father, we have come. With thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord, for your love, for your mercy, for your protection, for the life that we have. Lord, we thank you. 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 We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We honor you in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice, Sister Agatha. Lift up your voice and thank God for his goodness. Thank God for his love, Sister Victoria. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Sister Jane, thank him, thank him, thank him. Sister Naomi, thank him, thank him, thank him. Bernard, thank him, thank him, thank him. Lift up your voice and thank him. He is a good God, he's a wonderful God, he's a great God. He's a God that loves every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. He loves us so much that the Bible says the very hair of our hairs are all counted by him. He has counted our hair. Praise God. That shows how deep his love for you and I is. He always takes care of us. His eyes are fixed on us. Hallelujah. So let's thank him. Let's thank him. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sister Cassandra, thank you for coming on. Lift up your voice and thank God in the name of Jesus. For our God is a good God. Our God is a great God. 
and we will always remember his goodness and we will thank him for his goodness and we will appreciate him for his goodness. Father, we come in Jesus' name, Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Had it not been your goodness, the enemy would have consumed us. But Father, we thank you for your goodness. That because of your goodness, the enemy cannot touch us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your power that you have bestowed on us. That because of your power, yeah, your word says, Masoto, we have led captivity captive. So, Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. That by the greatness of your power, all your enemies submit to you. And because of you, all our enemies also submit to us. We bless your name. And Father, we thank you that in the name of your son, Jesus, we thank you that in the name of your son, Jesus, you have made us more than conquerors. You have made us more than conquerors through Christ. Lift up your voice. Sister Abena, Abena Akumin. Yeah, lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He has made you more than a conqueror in Jesus' name. Sister Hetty and family, lift up your voice and thank God. He has made you more than a conqueror. Brother Stephen, he has made you more than a conqueror. So lift up your voice and bless his name. Father, I thank you that in the name of Jesus, I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror through Christ. Yay. My God, as I come, I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. I magnify your name. I exalt you. But you are a good God. You are a great God. You are a wonderful God. And what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before you. Heaven and earth adore you. I bless your name, Lord. I magnify your name, Lord. I submit to you, Lord. Karabo Shantori Ababa. He Karaba Santori Ababa. Ye Karababa Santoria. Now, good evening, every one of you. Lift up your voice and let's bless the name of our God. Sister Rosetta, good evening. Yele Baba Shelley Ama, good evening. Le Karabo Santoria. Maduria Baba Santoria Baba. Bless the name of the Lord. Father, we bless you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we exalt you. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all the heavens. We magnify you, Lord, for you are God, you are God, and you are the only God there is. You are the ancient of days. You are Alpha, you are Omega, you are omnipotent, you are omniscient God. In the name of Jesus, to you, our God, be the glory. To you, our God, be the honor. To you, our God, be the honor. We honor you. We magnify you. Le Karabo Santoria Baba. Mazoto Katuria. Yelebo Satu Karaba Baba. Ye Karaba Santoria Baba. Blessed, 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 blessed be the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous money. And they are saved. Good evening, Sister Portia. Portia. Le Karaba Okani. Le Kara, good evening. Mazotoria Baba. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Father, we bless your name. We exalt you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration in the name of Jesus. Father, we have come in Jesus' name. We have come to present our prayer request. We have come, my God, to bless you. We have come to magnify you. We have come to worship you. Yeah, we have come, my God, because in your presence is fullness of joy. 
Father, as we have come into your presence, fill us, fill us, fill every one of us with joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove our burdens, remove our troubles, remove our problems. And Father, as you remove our burdens, as you remove our problems, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, my God, in Jesus' mighty name, 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 my God, my God, hear our prayer and answer us in the name of Jesus. In your presence is fullness of joy. Fill us with joy. Fill us with joy. Fill us with joy. In the name of Jesus, fill us with joy in Jesus' name. Fill us with joy in the name of Jesus. Karabo Santoria, Karabo Santoria, Ni Karaba Santoria. We bless you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. Leba Daya Badoria, Santoria, Mama Santoria. He karamama zantoria baba, shantoria baba. Bless the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice, every one of you. Bless the name of the Lord. Father, we bless you in Jesus' name. Power belongs to you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We submit to you, Lord. Karabo shantoria. Le Karabama Zantoria. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Le Karama Zantoria, Mama Zantoria. Le Karama Zantoria, Mama Zantoria. Madoria, Mama Zantoria, Mama Zantoria. Le Karama Zantoria, Mama Zantoria. Makatoria, Mama Zantoria. Father, we adore you. Le Karama Zantoria. We lay our heart before you, Lord. Mazoto Karaba Santoria. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. Karabo Santoria Baba. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, good evening, every one of you. Good evening, and God bless you and thank you for coming on. Hallelujah. It is my prayer that God will answer us. It is my prayer that God will bless us. It is my prayer that God will increase us in Jesus' name. Now, before we go on to the main word, hallelujah, as usual, I want you to share. Press the share button and share so that other people can be blessed. Hallelujah. Praise God. Share and invite your friends and invite your family so that people can be blessed. Amen, and amen, amen, amen. Tonight we are as part of more than conquerors, hallelujah, as part of the message of more than conquerors. Tonight I want us to use our, you know, the revelation that we have to overpower every witchcraft conspiracy that is against us, hallelujah. So tonight we want to deal with over, over powering or overcoming witchcraft conspiracies, hallelujah. Praise God. And it is so important that as God's people, we use whatever power or authority or dominion that we have, hallelujah, praise God to overcome all life challenges so that the peace that God wants us to enjoy and have, we will have it in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to turn your Bible with me, hallelujah, to the book of Deuteronomy, please. Hallelujah. 
Go with me to the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter number 18. Praise God. Deuteronomy chapter number 18. And that is where I will be today. That is where I will take my scriptures from. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter number 18. Hallelujah. And I will read from verse number 10. Deuteronomy 18, verse number 10. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. This is God's word. Are you ready? I believe you are. It says, There shall not be found among you anyone who make his son or his daughter passes through the fire. Or one who practice witchcraft, or soothsaying, or one who interpret omen, or a sorcerer. Now this is God speaking to the children of Israel. And he was telling them that when you go to the promised land, make sure that you do not allow your children to pass through fire. Now, these were the practice of the Canaanites. So God forbade his children, hallelujah, not to be involved. And then God said, hallelujah, make sure that no one practice witchcraft. No one practice witchcraft. Or soothsaying. Or one who interpret omen or sorcery, or one who conjure spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who call up the dead. For all who do these things, for all who do these things, hallelujah, are an abomination to the Lord. And because of this abomination, the Lord your God drive them out from before you. Hallelujah. Praise God. So God was explaining that, you know, one of the reasons why I am driving the Canaanites out of the land and I'm giving it to you is because of the fact that they are practicing witchcraft. Hallelujah. They are practicing witchcraft. They are practicing soothsaying. They call out the dead. Praise God. And they allow their children to pass through fire. Now, these are all part of witchcraft and satanic activities. And so God was strictly telling them that don't be involved in that. And that is witchcraft. Hallelujah. And then he went on to say that. For this is an abomination to the Lord. Hallelujah. It is an abomination. It is something that is uncalled for. It is something that I, God, I hate. So tonight, I want you to know that God hates witchcraft. And in the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 22, Exodus chapter 22, God spoke. Hallelujah. In Exodus chapter 22, verse number. Hallelujah. Praise God. In verse number 18, then he said, you shall not permit a witch or a sorcerer to live. <laughs> so that shows the extent of how God hated witchcraft. God was saying, I hate witchcraft so much so that when you go to that promised land, when you are in the promised land, make sure that you do not get involved. Make sure you do not practice witchcraft. Hallelujah. It is an abomination to me. Hallelujah. And then he added that suffer not the witch to leave. In other words, when somebody is a witch, somebody is a wizard, when somebody is operating in witchcraft, God says, don't permit them to live. 
don't allow them to live. In other words, kill them. Hallelujah. So tonight, <laughs> praise God. That is what we will do. Hallelujah. Any witch in our life, any witch causing problem, we will have to do whatever in our power, praise God, to make sure that they do not leave, praise God, that they do not leave to cause problem in our life. Hallelujah. Now, why would God, you know, go to the stand of saying these things? Now, when we read further in the Bible, as we are Christians and we study the Bible, then we begin to understand why in the early parts of the Bible, God said so. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, what I found out is this. You know, while we believers, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And the reason why we are filled with the Holy Spirit is so we can live for God. Witchcraft is a satanic power. Hallelujah. Praise God. And, and those that are filled with that, that power, they operate for Satan. Hallelujah. So witchcraft power is to Satan as, as we, the Holy Spirit, is to us for Christ. Did you hear me? And one of the things that make witchcraft really dangerous and really interesting is that it can live in anything. It is a spirit that is very close. One of the, 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 the spirit that is very close and can affect human being is witchcraft. It can live in a uh, in rich watch. It can be incantated and put in the rich watch. And if you touch it and you are not strong in the spirit of God, it can affect you. It can be placed on the, on the phone. Hallelujah. Praise God. It can be incantated and placed in the phone. So if you are not really strong in, in the spirit of God and you, you, you keep on using it based on borrowing from somebody, then that witchcraft spirit can enter you and affect you. Uh, it can be incantated on, on the, on the, on the cloth, on the dress. Hallelujah. And then, you know, back home, people borrow people's clothes and they wear. Hallelujah. The danger is that if that person is a witch, a spell can be incantated and it can affect you. So witchcraft then becomes really dangerous because without witchcraft spirit, Satan will find it really hard to operate against us. Hallelujah. Now, for you to understand how witchcraft spirit operates, you have to look at Christians, how the Holy Spirit operates. If I'm right now, as I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, I can use the Holy Spirit to pray for the sick to be healed. I can use the Holy Spirit, you know, to do so many good things for people. So on the opposite side, Somebody filled with the witchcraft spirit can also operate in a similar or in a different way for Satan as Satan will want them to operate. Did you hear? So God knowing this, God gave a command to the children of Israel that number one, don't practice witchcraft. Number two, suffer not the wish to live. Hallelujah. In other words, when somebody is caught being a witch, hallelujah, he has to die, praise God, based on the Bible. Did you hear me? Hallelujah. Now, when you study the Bible further and you want to understand why will God go so much deep by saying that, then you begin to know that the reason why God would do that is that Witchcraft spirit is a spirit that Satan used to cause untimely death. 
among the human race. Did you hear? I've already told you, Satan have great, have some, uh, when you read Ephesians 6, it tells you the division that Satan have. But the bottom line, the spirit that operate in the bottom line that can be used to, to hurt human beings is witchcraft. Hallelujah. So without witchcraft, Satan, hallelujah, will be ineffective. And we, as I'm teaching today, today I'm teaching, and then from there we will pray. Hallelujah. The first thing that witchcraft will do is that it will cause untimely death. It, it kills people. Hallelujah. In the book of John, John 10, 10, the Bible says that the, 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 the thief, which is Satan, he comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So John 10, 10 lets you know how Satan operates. Hallelujah. But it is witchcraft that they will use to cause many, many, many people. Sometimes you hear there is a car accident and so many people have died. There is this, there is that, there is that. It is all because of witchcraft. Hallelujah. When you read the book of First Kings chapter 21, you see Jezebel, First Kings chapter 21, as you read from verse nine to uh, 10, you see Jezebel, hallelujah, which we know that Jezebel, hallelujah, was operating by the spirit of witchcraft, that Jezebel calls her husband Ahab, praise God, to have Nebed killed and took his possession. Hallelujah. Why would they do so? It is witchcraft. Hallelujah. So get the understanding that the reason why God wants us to eliminate witchcraft, which incidentally, hallelujah, is in your family. Incidentally, some of, some of your unbelieving friends, they possess the power of witchcraft. <laughs> hallelujah. Unfortunately, it is an unfortunate thing that is happening. Hallelujah. But thank be to God that we are more powerful and stronger than them. Hallelujah. So the reason number one, today I want to give you seven reasons, and then we will begin to pray. The, the, the number one reason why we need to operate against the spirit of witchcraft is that given chance, he may cause untimely death. Probably not to you, but to any weaker vessel that is around you. Hallelujah. Any weaker vessel that is around you, uh, Satan can use witchcraft to cause their untimely death. Hallelujah. And so you need to be very aggressive when we come to prayer. Hallelujah. Because we are more than conquerors. And if we are more than conquerors, we have to use the ability that makes us more than conquerors to overcome anything that is against us. Number two, in the same story that I'm sharing with you, witchcraft is a spirit of envy and jealousy. Witchcraft is a spirit of envy and jealousy. When you have uh, something and they don't have, they are very envious. Hallelujah. And they want to do something to cause damage to you. Praise God. So by the reason of witchcraft, they can have you killed, have you dead, so that whatever you have will become yours. In the same story of First Kings chapter 21, as you read the story, the reason why Jezebel, a witch, had Nebuchadnezzar killed was because Nebuchadnezzar had a vineyard that is very close to the property of Ahab. All right. And by the reason of the fact that they wanted that property uh, and use it as a vegetable garden. Hallelujah. What did Jezebel do? Jezebel, a witch, arranged for Nebat to be killed. And when Nebat died, that is when Jezebel arose to take possession of that. So 
when we bring it into our personal life, we begin to see that witchcraft, one of the things that witchcraft do is that it's a spirit of envy. You can be in a position, maybe a manager, maybe a supervisor, hallelujah, and somebody working in that place, hallelujah, would think that, ah, so so, so they don't deserve that position. It is me who deserve that position. So if you are not careful, they can have you killed so that they will take what belongs to you. And if you look around the world, so many things are happening. I, I know somebody, when I used to work in the secular world, I used to work with, the, with, the, with, the, with somebody that when MPP government came, they invited him to, to back to Ghana to go and work for, for the government. Uh, he was there for four years. And just recently, he's a young guy, hallelujah, age about 45 to 50, hallelujah, very healthy. But just about recently, that person suddenly died. Did you hear? I don't know what caused, what, what caused his death, hallelujah. But I'm just saying that it could be, as I know that there are a lot of things going on, sometimes people may be envious of your position. They can be envious of even your wife, your children, <laughs> and they will decide to take you off. They can be envious of your blessing, your properties, the things that God has given you, and they will decide to take you out, eliminate you so that they can take possession. Did you hear? That is why tonight, hallelujah, we are more than conquerors through Christ. Therefore, anything, hallelujah, that can cause us damage, we have to take care and eliminate them before they cause any damage to our lives. Praise Jesus Christ. Are you here with me? There is a sister that is on. There's a sister that is on. Did you hear? And this sister that have come on, praise God. Some years ago came to, to me for prayer. And as I was praying for him, hallelujah, then I was able to tell her, you know, what, 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 what was the cause of her problem? Praise God. And as we dealt with it, we dealt with it, we dealt with it, we dealt with it. Somebody very close passed away. And today, that sister is absolutely healthy and well. Hallelujah. Did you hear? So sometimes that is what witchcraft would do. Witchcraft, a spirit of envy, may try to work against you to take what belongs to you. Hallelujah. But we will not allow them in the name of Jesus. So when it comes to prayer, hallelujah, lift up your voice and begin to pray when it comes to prayer. Now, the third point that I want us to go on before we begin to pray, I'm, I'm giving you seven points. The third point is that witchcraft is a spirit that works against our peace. Did you hear me? Hallelujah. Now, every one of us love to live a peaceful life. Did you hear? But witchcraft, what makes them happy is that when people are suffering, when people are going through problem, hallelujah. When people are suffering, when people are going through problem, then witchcraft enjoys that. Hallelujah. So it is a spirit that want to cause pain. It is a spirit that want to take people's peace and people's joy and people's happiness from them. Did you hear? Hallelujah. So they can do it in so many ways. They can cause death, as I've made mention. They can cause you to lose what you have. Hallelujah. They can cause you to be on alcohol, cause you to be on drugs. Hallelujah. Cause you to live a life that you don't want to live. Praise God. Did you hear? In the book of uh, uh, Second Kings, praise Jesus Christ, chapter 9. Let me read that for you. And, you know, it is a story about Jehu, when God called Jehu 
and Jehu was commissioned to take action against Jezebel. Praise God. Hallelujah. And when Jehu was riding to take action against Jezebel, it happened that the watchmen who were watching over the fields, they saw him riding furiously and they realized that this is Jehu. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then Joram, who went to meet uh, him and asked that, hey, the way you are coming, is there peace? Is there peace? Hallelujah. And then he said, how can there be peace when the witchcraft of your mother, hallelujah, is many? Now, let me read Second Kings chapter 9, verse 22. Second Kings chapter 9, verse 22. So he said, now it happened when Joram saw Jehu that he said, is it peace, Jehu? So Jehu answered, what peace? As long as the harrow trees or the witchcraft of your mother Jezebel are so many. Hallelujah. So here Jehu replied, there cannot be peace when the witchcraft of your mother Jezebel are so many. So when you bring this into interpretation, whatever witchcraft persists, when there is witchcraft in operation, hallelujah, people cannot have the peace that God want them to have. So if you want to live a life and you want to have peace and you want to enjoy peace, hallelujah, then you must do well in your life to fight witchcraft. And that is what we are going to do tonight. We're going to make sure, hallelujah, that if we are more than conquerors, then we have to conquer, hallelujah, what needs to be conquered. And that is witchcraft. Yesterday we did with family, praise God, hallelujah, wickedness in our families. Today we are going to deal with, you know, witchcraft in particular. Because, see, let me tell you something. The Bible says that John the Baptist, huh? John the Baptist came in the power of Elijah. Hallelujah. What did Elijah do? Elijah called fire to consume his enemies. Hallelujah. John the Baptist could have done that, and John the Baptist didn't. And because John the Baptist didn't, hallelujah, the enemy uses with the power that the enemy had to have John the Baptist's head, you know, taken off. That is why, you know, when God has given you and I power, we have to use the power that God has given to us. Did you hear me? So don't just sit down, you know, and just uh, uh, pray uh, a, a, a Christian, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just start quoting, oh, I'm a Christian, I'm doing hey, My friend, you have the fire, you have the ability, you have the power, you got to use it. If you don't use it, a witchcraft will use it against you. And before you realize, hey, you are gone. Hallelujah. One God don't want you to go. Praise God. So, the third point that I made you aware is that when witchcraft is in operation, hallelujah, peace that you and I are supposed to have, we don't enjoy that peace. Because today there is trouble. Tomorrow there will be this. To, to, uh, the next day there will be that. Hallelujah. And they do that to take your peace away. Hallelujah. And that is why you need to fire. Hallelujah from all cylinders tonight. When we begin to pray, please don't joke with it. Now, the fourth point that I'm about to share with you is very important. Hallelujah, praise God. Witchcraft is a power, hallelujah, that causes you to have temporal pleasure, temporal enjoyment at the expense of tomorrow. Hallelujah. And this is where a lot of people, 
sometimes become victim. Hallelujah. Hear me. This is very important. A lot of people become victim by the reason of what I'm about to share with you. That by witchcraft can cause you to have temporal pressure. When I say temporal pressure, sometimes you can enjoy yourself by the reason of what somebody will offer you. By the reason of what somebody will do for you. And for some reason, you, you will sell your conscience and you will go for it before you realize, hallelujah, maybe a year later that what you did was the biggest mistake. And the reason why you did that is because of witchcraft. When, when you look at, now let me bring you to the, uh, the Bible. When you look in the Bible and you look at a man like Esau, huh? Esau, you are the firstborn, whereby, you know, when your father is passing away, everything that your father has and the blessing becomes yours. What, what on earth, huh? what hungry, what hunger will cause you to sell your birthright? Ask yourself that question. What, what, what hunger? will cause you to sell your birthright. And sometimes that is what witchcraft will do. Witchcraft can influence you from behind the scene and cause you to make some decisions and cause you to do certain things that will make you suffer later. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? Hallelujah. One of these days, I'm going to treat with you uh, uh, a really important subject that bewitchment I will treat with you bewitchment and this is uh, when you are a believer hallelujah the thing that really hallelujah help you and I is prayer our love for God and living righteously and depending on God all the time is so important because Hallelujah. Satan have ways whereby, you know, they can cause you to sell your conscience. And then maybe a year later, that is when you will realize that you have made a serious mistake. And there are so many people, sometimes by the reason of temporal pressure, they take what is at stake and then they suffer later. All uh, because of witchcraft influence. Now, if you look at the man also called Gehazi, Gehazi, hallelujah, you have worked so hard, you have worked so hard for your master, Elisha, that you know, you know, you know, hallelujah, that your master, by, by his faithfulness serving Elijah, received double portion. And so you too, if you serve faithfully, you will be blessed. Hallelujah. What did he do? Hallelujah. He went behind his masters. Hallelujah. And took from Naaman what he should have taken. So in the end, he became a leper. Praise God. See, these are all the art of witchcraft. It can cause you, hallelujah, for temporal pressure, go and do certain things and then lose what God has blessed you with. It happened to most men of God. It happened to Samson. Huh? Samson, look at Samson, a great man like Samson with a lot of women in Israel. Yet when you read the Bible, Samson was so enticed by the women of the Philistines. And Delilah eventually caused Samson's downfall. Did you hear me? What is that? Sometimes that is why. See, that is why witchcraft is very dangerous. Hallelujah. It, it fights you quietly and subtly from behind. And before you realize you are down, you are out. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? So with the, with the, with the fact that we are more than conquerors, which you, you know and you understand now, you have to be very serious and bombard every witchcraft out of the scene 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. So moving quickly, witchcraft power. Hallelujah. This is also very dangerous. The fifth point that I want to give you is that witchcraft, hallelujah, can cause affliction. It can bring affliction. Hallelujah. It can bring some kind of affliction in your life. And when, when you are afflicted and you are seeking solution, you are seeking help, you end up, hallelujah, being, praise God, hallelujah, going to more higher powers, hallelujah, that endanger your life. In fact, this is why witchcraft is really serious and really dangerous. Now, I told you earlier, witchcraft can stay in the handkerchief. Witchcraft can stay in, 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 in a wristwatch. It can even stay in the phone. You do here. And what it does when it comes into your life, it can kill you straight away. What it does is that it, it, it causes, you know, irritation, affliction. Sometimes you will see, ah, today my neck, today this, today this. And so when it happens like that, you, you will think about going to seek help. Or sometimes a friend will come and say, oh, I know there is a man at the corner. Let's go to this man. And you yourself, your conscience will be telling you that, oh, this person is not a godly person. But because of the affliction that you are in, you will follow and you will go there. Hallelujah. And when you go, that is when they draw you into satanic power. And there you will see thereafter. Hallelujah. Now they do it wisely so that you will not know. They will ask you, oh, ask for this problem. Can you bring this? Can you bring a chicken? Can you bring a goat? Hallelujah. Praise God. And before you realize, hallelujah, the goat that was you brought, the chicken that you brought, the blood, hallelujah, that was sacrificed, have caused you, hallelujah, and have invited more bigger powers into your life. And then you realize thereafter that you are trapped. In fact, this, this is most of the problems that all, most of us, we are going through. The reason why our fathers consulted idols in their day was because there was a problem, hallelujah, and in seeking solution, hallelujah, praise God, they went to a higher powers. Some of them, they took certain things, they, they will ask them, Go and plant them in, in the middle of your house. Go and do this in, the, uh, uh, in, your, in your house. And the moment they did that, it invited familiar spirit, hallelujah, into the place. And they have stayed there into our time. But it, it all began really tiny. It all began, hallelujah, it all began by witchcraft, you know, attacks did you hear but before we they realize hallelujah something bad has happened now i can't finish so i'm gonna lead us into prayer maybe next week i will do part two all right so we are going to pray right now but before we pray i need you to understand the scriptures that we read in deuteronomy 18 10 and 11 whereby god said when you go to the land, don't practice witchcraft because I hate witchcraft. For witchcraft is an abomination to the Lord. And then God said, hallelujah, praise God, to the children of Israel, hallelujah, suffer not the witch to live. Did you hear? I've, I've given you just five reasons. I will continue. There are so many reasons. So next week, I thought I would have finished today, but I can't. So next week, by God's grace, we will do part two. But hear me, we are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. And as we are more than conquerors today in the name of Jesus, any witchcraft power that would have caused us to suffer, any witchcraft power that would have caused us to invite, you know, terrible spirits into our lives, 
witchcraft spirit that has spirit of envy, witchcraft spirit that will want us to lose our things, hallelujah, or die so that they can take over. To that, we are coming to come against them in the name of Jesus. Are you here with me? Hallelujah. Say with me, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for your word. And I thank you, Lord, for revelation knowledge. Right now, I receive empowerment in Jesus' name. I want you, my God, to grant me the Jehu anointing. Release Jehu anointing upon my life. Jehu anointing that will cause me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. To come against every witchcraft and overpower them. Father, I ask and I receive Jehu anointing in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Begin to pray for Jehu anointing in the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice. Receive the Jehu anointing. Matokataya. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I ask and I receive Jehu anointing in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice. Jehu anointing in the name of the Lord. Lebadaya Badoria. Yekataya Bazotoria. Nikalaba Bazantoria. Mazotoria Baba. Lift it up. Let me hear you pray. Lift it up. Let me hear you pray. In the name of Jesus, you are more than a conqueror through Christ in Jesus' name. You are more than a conqueror. Father, in Jesus' name, I ask and I receive. I ask and I receive the Jehu anointing in the name of Jesus. Masotoria, for I am ready in the name of Jesus. For I am ready to come against Lekarababa, Zototo, Lekarababa, every power, Yekataya of Satan in the name of Jesus. Matoria Baba, by the Jehu anointing, by the Jehu anointing, in the name of the Lord. Madoria Baba, Yandere Baba Zanto, Nikarababa Zantoria, Nikarabama Zantoria, Nikarabama Zantoria, Lekarabama Zantoria, Nikarabama Zantoria, Lekarabama Zantoria, Lekarabama Zantoria Baba. Shantoria Baba Zantoria, Nikarama Zantoria, Ye Karama Zantoria Baba, Ne Karama Zantoria, Masotoria, Masotoria, Ne Karama Zantoria, Ye Karama Zantoria, Mazotototo, Ne Karama Zantoria, Marabo Shantoria, Ye Karama Zantoria, Ne Karama Zantoria. Masotoria Baba, Ye Jehu's anointing in the name of Jesus. Madoria Baba Zantoria, Masotoria Baba, Shantoria Baba, Le Karababa Zantoria, Masotoria Baba, in Jesus' mighty name. Now, the word of God says that in the book of Exodus 22:18, it says, Suffer not the wish to live. Hallelujah. So our first prayer, we are coming against any witch that has been assigned against you. Hallelujah. Any witchcraft power assigned against you to bring you down. Hallelujah. May they receive fire. May they die in the name of Jesus. Did you hear me? Say with me, Father God, your word says, suffer not the wish to live in the name of Jesus. As I pray tonight, any witchcraft power, any witch that have been assigned against my life, as I pray now in the name of Jesus, I cause your fire, your consuming fire, yeah, to consume them now in the name of Jesus. Any witch that have been assigned to bring me down, any witch that have been assigned to kill me today in the name of Jesus, my God, I eliminate them before they eliminate me in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray now. Any witch that have been assigned to cause your demise 
not have been assigned to kill you in Jesus name. May they die by fire. May they die by fire in the name of Jesus. May God kill them. May God kill them. Yeah. May they die by fire before they kill you. Lift up your voice. Begin to pray. Let me hear you pray now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray right now. I release your fire. I release your fire in the name of Jesus against any witch, against any wizard in Jesus' name. Father, I eliminate them. Father, I destroy them before they destroy me. For it is written, suffer not the wish to live. Suffer not the wish to live in the name of Jesus. As I pray now, in the name of the Lord, Mato Karaba, Shantoria Baba, Le Karaba Santo, Le Karababa, I eliminate them by fire, by fire, by fire, before they eliminate me in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, begin to pray. Any witchcraft power, any witchcraft power that have been assigned to bring you down, that have been assigned to bring you down tonight, wherever they are, in your father's house, wherever they are, in your mother's house, wherever they are, in your spouse family, let them receive fire. Let them receive fire in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Matoria Baba, Masotoria. Destroy them before they destroy you. Destroy them before they afflict your children. Destroy them before they destroy your grandchildren in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray tonight. Any witchcraft power, any witchcraft authority in Jesus' name that have set their eyes on me, that have set their eyes on me to destroy me as I pray, Lord, I release your fire. I release your fire against them. I destroy them. I destroy them before they destroy me in the name of Jesus. Lift it up, lift it up. Don't let them destroy you. Yeah, God himself has given you authority and he says, suffer not the wish to live. Suffer not the wish to live. Yeah, lift up your voice. If you don't pray, God will not act. If you don't pray, God will not act. If you don't pray, God will not act. So lift up your voice. Father, I pray every witch, every wizard, Matukara Baba, that have set their eyes on me to bring me down, that have set their eyes on me to kill me, that have set their eyes on me, yeah, to eliminate me, my God, by my prayer. Let them die by fire. <clears throat> Let them die by fire in the name of Jesus. Let them die by fire. Let them die by fire in Jesus' name. Let them die by fire. Let them die by fire in the name of Jesus. Madokataya, Makaturiya Baba, Yetatatoto. As I pray, Lord, I release your fire, your consuming fire. Let it consume them. Your consuming fire. Let it consume them. Let it consume them in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Now, prayer number two. There are what we call witchcraft contractors. Sometimes, hallelujah, when they cannot get you by themselves, they will contract somebody. They can contract somebody in your workplace. They can contract somebody in your neighborhood. They can contract somebody where <clears throat> you extend, where you go, where you associate. Hallelujah. So you are praying. Any witchcraft contractor that they have assigned, hallelujah, to, to work against you, praise God. The same fire you are released. God knows where they are. God is waiting for you to give the command. So once you speak, the fire must locate them. Say with me, Father God, any witchcraft contractor here against my life, any witchcraft contractor that have been assigned against me, in my place of work, that have been assigned against me in my neighborhood, that have been assigned against me, yeah, wherever I go, in the name of Jesus, when I pray now, Father, in Jesus' name, I release your fire. Let it consume them now, in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, 
by fire, by tender, wherever they have taken a contract over my life in the name of Jesus. Tonight, as I pray, may the fire of God consume them in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft contractor, any witchcraft contractor in my workplace, any witchcraft contractor in my workplace, any witchcraft contractor around me, even my friends who are witches, yeah, in my workplace, those who are witches and wizards in my neighborhood, those who are witches and wizards, as I pray now, may the consuming fire, may it consume them. Lift up your voice, take this prayer serious, and begin to pray. Madokataya, Mazototo, Lekarababa, Shantoria Baba, Lekarababa Zantoria, every contractor, every witch contractor, every witch contractor assigned against me to cause me harm, assigned against me to kill me, assigned against me to bring me down, assigned against me to cause irritation in my life. As I pray now, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. Lift up your voice. May they receive fire. May they receive fire. May the fire of God consume them in the name of Jesus. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror in the name of Jesus. As I am a more than conqueror, Father, my God, I release your fire, your consuming fire to eliminate, to eliminate, to destroy, to destroy every witch, every witch, every power in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Madaga, doga, 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 power yeah i sign against me i am more than a conqueror i come against you every witchcraft contractor every witchcraft contractor a sign against me, working against me to bring me down, working against me to destroy my life, working against me to destroy what I've been assigned for me to do. Yeah, receive fire now. Yeah, receive fire now. In the name of Jesus, Matoria, I eliminate you. I stop you on your tracks. I stop you on your tracks before you stop me. Receive fire now. I stop you on your track before you stop me. Receive fire. I eliminate you. I overcome you in the name of Jesus. Lebadoria, Shantoria, Maduria Kata, Shantoto, Likarababa, Shantoria Baba, Zente Tatai, Zente Tatai. Then tetra tire, let the tetra lick a basanto in Jesus' mighty name. Now you are praying. I said earlier, hallelujah, that sometimes they want because of envy, huh? because of what you have. Praise God. It could be a property huh? that you have for you, you yourself. You have worked hard. Some of us, we have built houses back home. Hallelujah. Sometimes by the reason of that, the enemy wants you out so that they can have it. Some of us, even because of your husband or your wife, somebody or your children, they want to take you out. And because you have it and they don't have it. Hallelujah. Now, typical example is Jezebel. Jezebel, a witch, huh, influenced the husband, Nebat. Hallelujah. Ahab, sorry. Ahab, to have Nebot killed so that they would take what belongs to Nebot. Did you hear me? <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. And, and the, the, the dangerous thing, uh, the funny thing is that sometimes these people that are envious of you and they want you out, maybe you... you you love them so much that you even do them good. Huh? You love them so much that you even do them good. You send them money. Huh? But yet, they want you to 
be killed. They want you out. So we are going to pray. But let me give you another scripture. In the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 17. Proverbs 17, verse 13. The Bible says that whoever reward you evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. Hallelujah. Whoever reward evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. So you are praying. Huh? You don't know. You, you, you don't know who is causing that. Hallelujah. We haven't mentioned any name. So God's word says that whoever reward Proverbs 17 verse 13, whoever rewards evil for good, evil will not depart bad from his house. And those people who want to do that, majority of them are witches. But you are praying in the name of Jesus. Any Jezebel, I want you to mention the name, any Jezebel, say with me, Father God, any Jezebel that want me to die so that they will take over what I have and what you have blessed me with. In the name of Jesus, your word says, your word says, Whoever reward evil for good, evil will not depart from the house. Therefore, as I pray tonight, whoever that in time past I have done them good, yet they don't remember my goodness and they want me to die in the name of Jesus. By my prayer tonight, let them die by fire. Let them die by fire. And by your word, evil will not depart from their house in the name of jesus evil will not even after they are deaf even will not depart from their house lift up your voice begin to pray in the name of jesus father in this prayer meeting in the name of jesus anyone that is very envious of me and therefore want me to die prematurely so that they will take my possession in jesus name as i pray in the name of jesus i release your fire i release your fire let them die by fire let them die by fire let the consuming fire of god let the consuming fire of god let it consume them now in the name of jesus let it consume them now let them die now in jesus name father it is written it is written whoever will reward evil yeah for my good evil will not depart from their house even after they have died even after they have died in the name of jesus let the evil let the evil that they have done in the name of jesus stay in the house according to your word in the name of jesus lift up your voice let me hear you pray any spirit of envy any spirit of envy any spirit of envy that want me to die that want me to die so that they will take over what i have in the name of jesus father as i pray makaturia Shantototo Mataya, let your fire, let your fire, let your fire consume them now. Let your fire consume them now. In the name of Jesus, let your fire lift up your voice. I want to see you pray. I want to see you pray. In the name of Jesus, Matakatoria, any witchcraft. Any witchcraft power operating against you according to the word of God. Masototo, Masataya. Yeah, yeah. Evil will not depart from their house. Even when they die, the evil will stay there. My God, I lift up my voice as I pray. Any witchcraft power that have targeted me, that have targeted my children, that have targeted my grandchildren, and is working against me. Masotoria, to now let them die by fire. Let them die by fire in the name of Jesus. Matoria, and let evil not depart from their house. And let evil not depart from their house in the name of Jesus. Masotoria, Carabo Santo, Nicaragua, 
Zantoria, Kilaboth, Zantoria, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is a good God. Now we are going to destroy their works. Hallelujah. You are praying that any witchcraft agreement that is in your family that causes marital problems, financial problems, sickness, premature death. Hallelujah. You are destroying their works. Whatever has been put in place in the name of Jesus, let their works be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Say with me, Father God, any witchcraft orchestration in my family, any witchcraft orchestration anywhere in the world against me, against me, tonight as I pray, I destroy their works. Whatever they have put in place against me that would have affected my physical health, whatever they have put in place that would have caused my that would have caused my progress yeah to be reversed i cancel it in the name of jesus whatever they have put in place that would have caused my forward movement to be reversed i cancel it whatever they have put in place that would work against my marriage my success my promotion my business i cancel it in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice, begin to destroy their works. Whatever they have put in place, they may have put some sickness against your children. Destroy it, destroy it in Jesus' name. Sister Asha, Sister Asha, destroy their works. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. Sister Gloria, destroy their works in the name of Jesus. Sister Mavis, destroy their works. In Jesus' name, I fear destroy their works. Whatever they have put in place against you, Sister Rosetta, destroy their works. In the name of Jesus, Father, as I pray by the authority of Christ Jesus, I am destroying their works, their works, their works. In the name of Jesus, whatever they have put in place that allow them to operate against me and destroy their works in the name of Jesus. I destroy their works. Whatever they have put in place that work against my forward movement, I destroy their works. Whatever they have put in place that work against my marriage, that work against my success, that work against my finances, I destroy their works. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Every one of you begin to pray, destroy their works. Matatata, 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 matatoria, 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 anything, anything. Anything that they have put in place, Masotoria, 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 Likarababa, Yete Karaba, Zuturia, Le Karababa, He Karababa, Le Karababa, Shantoria, Likarababa, 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 Shantoria, Likarababa, Le Karababa, Antoria, Maturia, Yete Caraba, Santoria, Nicaraba, Helebele, Santoria, Nicaraba, Antoria, Nicaraba, Santoria, 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 Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, destroy their works, destroy their works, destroy their works. Their works, their works, their works, whatever they have put together against you, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. Any form of sickness, destroy it in the name of Jesus. Any form of hardship, destroy it. For the Bible says, 
no weapon formed against you will prosper. Stand on God's word. Stand on God's word and destroy their works. So, Father, as we pray, intervene for us and destroy their works. Whatever they put together against us, Father, in Jesus' name, let it be destroyed. Whatever they put together against us in our marriages, let it be destroyed. Whatever they put together against us concerning our work, let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, Makatoria, Lekarababa, Zoto, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Now, when you study witchcraft into details, hallelujah, that sometimes they operate through food. You do here. I didn't go there, but let me, for prayer's sake, they operate through food. They operate through sex. Huh? Hallelujah. Those are those some people who sleep around is very dangerous. Sometimes they can contaminate your life through sex. Hallelujah. And they can contaminate contemplate your life through drink. Hallelujah. Food, food and drink and sex. Hallelujah. And and some of you that borrow people's clothes. Hallelujah. And I know you, you, it doesn't happen uh, much, but back home we do. So you are going to pray now. And you are going to rebuke. Uh, the Bible said the rebuke of the Lord dry up the sea. So you are going to rebuke every seed of contamination that one way or the other have come into your life. Hallelujah. You are going to rebuke it to cease. In the name of Jesus. Did you hear? Say with me, Father God, as I pray today, any seed of witchcraft that have contaminated my life through food, through water, through drink, through sex, through clothes, or any other means, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Let it cease operation right now in the name of Jesus. Any means by which I have got in contact with witchcraft, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I command it to cease operating right now in Jesus' name. As I pray, I lay my hand on my belly. Whatever have entered me through food, through water, through drink, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke it. I command it to cease operating right now in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, begin to rebuke, begin to rebuke, begin to rebuke, command every witchcraft operation against your life in any shape or form to cease right now, to cease right now, to cease right now in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft contamination that they have contaminated through food, through water, through drink, through sex, yeah, through dreams, through dreams, you are rebuking it, you are commanding it to cease right now in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, Madoria, Shantaya, 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 Father has a prayer. Shantaya, Shantaya, Lekaraba, I rebuke, I rebuke every witchcraft contamination to cease. It is written, the rebuke of the Lord, the rebuke of the Lord, dry up the sea. I rebuke every witchcraft operation against my life to cease, to cease, to cease, to cease, to cease, to cease. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, we are going to pray one important prayer. This is a, a prayer of advance. You are praying that God should protect you. God should help you in your decision making. That you will never, never, never make decision that will favor you temporarily for now or maybe for a year. And you will suffer two, three years ahead. To do here sometimes witchcraft <laughs> can cause you to make 
some kind of decisions that will favor you for now, but you will suffer tomorrow. Hallelujah. I gave you an example. Esau was one. Samson was one. Hallelujah. They made some terrible decisions and they suffer. Now, the, the school where I, I went to Bible college, I don't want to give more away. Huh? The, the principal of the school was a very successful man. In fact, he was a very successful businessman before God called him into ministry. Did you hear? And his ministry was doing great. He had a, such a great gift. Hallelujah. He had the gift of healing. And so his ministry was going well. Praise God. But guess what? Uh, later in life, he made a silly decision. Hallelujah. Unknown to everybody. You know, the secretary of, of the church, <laughs> praise God, was, was his girlfriend. Hallelujah. And so as time went by, news, you know, leaked out and he lost, you know, the church board, even though the church was planted by himself, but the church board drove him out. Hallelujah. And today he's a nobody. Sometimes that is what witchcraft would do. It cause you to make decisions, hallelujah, that will not favor you tomorrow. So you and I, we are going to pray that whatever, hallelujah, decisions that we will make, hallelujah, from this day forward, God should take control in the name of Jesus so that we will not be influenced by any witchcraft to make, you know, decisions that will affect us tomorrow. Did you hear? We don't need any temporal pleasure at the expense of tomorrow. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Father, I pray right now that you will help me in the name of Jesus Christ. That in my life and in the decisions that I will make in life, help me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Magdakatoria, Likarababa Zantoria. Ye karaba zantoria, masotoria baba, that I will make any decision, masotoria, masotoria, masoto, I won't make any decision that will bring temporal pleasure at the expense of my tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Masotoria, so Lord, take control of my life. Take control of my life. Take control of my life in the name of Jesus. Take control of my life. Bless my life. Increase my life in the name of Jesus. Zotoria Baba, Zotoria Baba, Zotoria Baba, Santoria Baba, Le Carabo Santoria, Santoria Baba, Yeta Toto, my God, I submit every decision, I submit every decision that I will make from this day forward. Yea, Ma Zotoria, before you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Masotoria, and I pray, my God, and I ask that in Jesus' name, Masotoria, may the decisions that I make, may the decisions that I make, may it not be influenced. Zotoria, Baba, by witchcraft, in the name of Jesus, may it not be influenced by witchcraft, in Jesus' name. Matoria, Baba, Shantoria, Baba. Nikaraba Zantoria, Karabo Santoria, Masotokoto, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want you to lift up your voice and you are going to pray that whatever is the desire of your heart, may God grant it to you in Jesus' name. Psalm 37, verse 4. The Bible said, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desire of your heart. 
So you are praying that in the name of Jesus, every desire of your heart, may God grant it to you in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, I pray tonight. Nekaraba Zantoria. Zotoria, it is said in the book of First Peter. Ma Zotoria Baba. First Peter chapter 3. Ma Zotoria. Nekarababa. Verse 12. Ma Zotoria. First Peter 3, 12. Ma Zotoria. Nekarababa. That the eye of the Lord is on the righteous and his ears are open to their prayer. If that is so, may God hear your prayer. May God answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. May God Masotoria, because his eyes, because his eyes, are on the righteous. May God, Masotoria, 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 Karabosantoria, Masotoria, answer your prayer. May God answer your prayer. Sister Asha, may God answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. May God favor you. Sister Josephine, may God answer your prayer. May God favor you in Jesus' name. Fancy a free. May God hear you. May God answer you in the name of Jesus. Margaret Quay, may God hear you. May God answer you in the name of Jesus. May God favor every one of you. May your desire of your heart be granted. In the name of Jesus, may the peace of God that surpass all understanding guide your heart and mind through Christ. May God's goodness be your portion. For the Bible says in Psalm 84 verse 11, And no good thing would he withhold from those that walk upright. May God not withhold any good thing from you. In the name of Jesus. May goodness of God, may God goodness, yeah, be your portion in Jesus' name. May God bless you. May God increase you. May the blessing of the Lord be your portion. May you lend to many nations and may you not borrow in the name of Jesus. May the rain, may the rain, may abundant rain of God, Masotoria, begin to fall on your grounds in the name of Jesus Christ. May you have my Zototo, yeah, tremendous harvest. May God bless you with the great harvest in the name of Jesus. Madoria Baba, may you not suffer loss. May you not suffer loss in the name of Jesus. May you not suffer loss. May you recover any loss in the name of Jesus, may you recover everything that you have lost. May you recover your health. May you recover your loved ones. May you recover your business in the name of Jesus Christ. May God goodness be your portion in Jesus name. Hallelujah. And our last prayer. Hallelujah. You are going to pray that the blood of Jesus will cover you and your family. And God will shield you in. And tonight, may God speak to you in the name of Jesus. May God speak to you and direct your path in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the step of a righteous man is ordered by the Lord. May God speak to you tonight in your dream. And may God show you the way forward. May you not, you know, out of your flesh make decisions that will cause you tomorrow. Lift up your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. As you sleep tonight, may God speak to you. May God direct your path in the name of Jesus. May God lead you. May God bless him. Be your portion in the name of Jesus. 
le karabazantoria mazotoria kata batakuria in the name that is above every name in the name jesus christ hallelujah praise god praise god praise god hallelujah i would love to continue but my time is up we've been on for an hour and a half hallelujah so i'm finishing god bless you god increase you may the lord shine hallelujah his light over you in the name of jesus christ may god goodness be your portion in jesus name may the blessing of the lord be yours in the name of jesus god bless you god bless you thank you all for coming on i love you all in the name of jesus with the love of the lord uh, every one of you god bless you sister j top from germany god bless you hallelujah sister asha from birmingham god bless you for coming on and every one of you that have tuned in from everywhere god bless you next week we will do part two hallelujah god bless you and thank you all in jesus name minister mary sapon god bless you afia brago god bless you and increase you in the name of jesus may every conspiracy of witchcraft against you may it come to an end in the name of jesus may god uplift you upgrade you and cause you to receive your inheritance in jesus name sister rebecca God bless you. Thank you for coming on, Sister Gloria, Rosetta, every one of you. I love you all. You are blessed. You are favored by God in Jesus' name. Prayer line. Bye bye. God bless you all. Amen. Hallelujah. You are more than conquerors through Christ. You are more than conquerors. Amen. Most high, yes, you are the Lord. God bless you all. I love you, Sister Joe. God bless you. May God answer you, Sister Victoria. May God answer you in Jesus' name. Amen. Most high. Bye-bye, everyone.